<coughs> All right, Shalom. It's the brother from the game. I saw Caroline came back for another video. Before we go any further, and we've all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings so for the elect of the nation of Israel. Take their spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Shai. Basically, just going to go into a lesson how so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to wake up. Now it's time to wake up out of that deep sleep you're in, you know. Uh, a time of trouble is coming to the shores of America, you know, and you, you need to wake up and put on the armor of the Most High, you know, get into these scriptures, get into this word, you know. This is St. Matthew 24, verse 36. But of that day and hour know of no man, know not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Yeah, of that day and hour, and the, the, the day when all hell is going to break loose, the day that the Heavenly Father is going to send his only begotten son back, no, no man, you know, even, uh, we don't know the time that, uh, the communist son crash, we don't know the time when the RFID chip is going to be made mandatory, but this is why the scriptures say this, this is 2nd Ezra 91, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, and yeah, so we're supposed to be measuring the times, and how do we measure the times, you know, by, uh, linking up current events with the prophecies that are written in the Bible. You know, uh, you're going to have these, um, you're going to have uh, Americans, allies turning on them. You're going to have Russia, allies uh, coming up against America. You're going to have uh, uh, racist, you're going to have uh, race riots. Uh, uh, there's going to be a, a great famine in the land of America. You know, you see uh, these different uh, floodings that have ruined the crops. You know, those are signs that we are coming towards the end of America. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure the time. Measure. <coughs> he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world. Which he made, yeah, then thou shalt understand. But what? First you gotta wake up. First you gotta come back and seek Yahweh by Shema Shai. Then he shall impart that understanding onto you. You know, you gotta take heed to what Yahweh by Shema Shai is saying out there on the highways and byways through his prophets. This is because what we are, sign we are uh, sounding the alarm, uh, telling our people to wake up. This is Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. Yeah, so when you hear this one, you know, you're not supposed to just, uh, to blow it off. You're supposed to, uh, take action. You're supposed to spring forth into action and seek Yahweh by Shema Shai because this, uh, this, uh, this deal can go down any day now. What I mean by this deal where the Heavenly Father, uh, sets Esau loose on you, loose on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7 at last for that day is great. So that none is like it. it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, that um, which I'm gonna get since I quoted it. Might as well get it. Now I'll come back to um. Then I will come back to Strong five and uh seven. This is Jeremiah chapter thirty verse seven. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Yeah, the day that is coming is great. The heavenly Father is gonna let. His left hand loose, you know, that's why the scriptures say, deliver me from the wicked, oh, which is thy sword. You know, the Heavenly Father is about this so-called white, is about to use this so-called white man to uh, bring judgment upon you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because you wanted to trust your enemy. You know, uh, you were going to be overcome by your enemy. And it reads, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, that he is the man, the elect, ultimately, that woke up, you know, that got out of that uh, matrix that they're in and came back and served you out by Shema Shai in these last days in sincerity and the truth. Just like in the time of Noah, you know, nobody wanted to listen. We are living in those same times, which I'm going which I'm to get. This is Shrock 5 and 7. Make no turning to turn to the Lord. And turning means to wait. Don't wait to turn to Yahweh by Shema Shai. Don't wait. Make no turning to turn to the Lord. To, when it means to turn to the Lord, it means to repent from your wicked ways and turn and seek the God of the Bible. He people are going to call it God and Jesus Christ. Yahweh by Shema Shah.
and putting that off from day to day for suddenly, yeah, when something happened suddenly, it happened unexpectedly, just like in the time of Noah. They didn't, uh, all of a sudden, the rain came. You know, the, 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 the heavens opened down and the, and the, and, 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 and the water came and took them all away. For suddenly, shall this destruction should come. For suddenly, are you gonna walk into your grocery stores and there's not gonna be any food on the shelves? Uh, uh, your local McDonald's, your local Wendy's, they're gonna be shut down. Scriptures say that many shall die of famine. Verse 7, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Yes, so when the Lord begins to visit this earth, he's coming back to bring his wrath. His wrath is going to come forth upon all those that didn't want to repent, that didn't want to wake up when we were out there on the highways and byways sounding the alarm. Scriptures talk about how the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. And perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, so what? In thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. You know, where you find stability, where you find your comfort, whether it be, uh, you know, uh, you know, your, your, uh, your wealthy bank account, whether it be, uh, women, your drugs, you know, all of that, what you find, uh, your safety, you're gonna, you're going to be destroyed in trusting in those things instead of trusting in Yah by Shema Shai. This is back in St. Matthew's 24. Uh, verse 36 again, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Yeah, that's why it tells you in the book of Romans, which I'm getting now is the high time to wake out of sleep. Because you don't know when the Lord is coming back. This is Romans 13, 11, and that knowing the time, first you got to know what time we're living in, you know? And that knowing the time, yeah, the brothers who have woken up to the truth, that have knowledge that these things are going to surely come to pass, that Yahweh by Shema Shire word is true and the, uh, the Lord is real, that it's going to come back in our lifetime, that America will be destroyed by 200 million ICBM nuclear missiles. Hey, we know the time and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Now is the, now is the, now is the peak. Now is now or never, you know, uh, choose this day whom you will serve, you know, are you going to serve Yahweh by Shema Shah? Are you going to, are you going to continue to serve yourself and do whatever you want to do. Because Yahweh Shema Shai has a standard for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to live down here on this earth. And either you're going to live by that standard or you're going to perish in the day of vengeance. Continue on in Romans 13 and 11. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now is our salvation you know, starting with, starting with the elect and, you know, you got the, the one third in the great multitude. You know, now is their salvation nearer than we believe in the sincere brothers at Great Millstone. You know, we're praying to be part of that number, the part of the number that gets delivered out of this place. And, you know, if you're hearing this message, that should be your goal, you know, because uh, you don't want to face Yahweh by Shema Shai. You shouldn't want to face the wrath that the Lord is bringing because he's coming back to bring judgment to this wicked, simple kingdom. Called America. Just like you. This is um St. Matthew's twenty four, back in St. Matthew's twenty four and thirty seven now. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah, and we know the account of you know when Noah was on the scene there was a great flood. You know, he was out there on the highways and byways. You know, he was in the chief place of concourse, uh preaching for what over 120 years and no one listened and it's going to be the same thing in these days that no one will listen only the lambs of Yahweh by Shema are going to are going to are going to hearken to the truth this is St. John chapter 10 this is St. John chapter 10 verse so I can't give me one. Verse 27, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Yeah, and what the scripture say, he that heareth you, heareth me. You know, so if you hear us out there in the highways and byways, you know, and you take heed to the warning, it's as if you were hearing Lord Yahweh Shai. So what only the sheep of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the lambs, the elect of the nation of Israel, is going to repent. So this is who 
this uh, lesson is going out to to uh, the hopeful elect in Yahweh by Shema Shai to wake up. And it reads, verse 38, For as in the days that were before the flood, yeah, before the flood, before that great death and destruction, you had Noah out there prophesying the highways and byways, and no one was listening. Everyone continued on as if the Lord wasn't going, as if the Lord wasn't real, as if the Lord wasn't going to do anything, as if he wasn't going to spring forth into action. This is Isaiah. You know, scriptures say, uh, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So this is why, you know, you got to hear a little bit on this, in this word, and scriptures all say, uh, prove all things. So, you know, jump around a little bit, but the point will be made to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. And how is the Lord speaking? The Lord is speaking through his prophets. It's just like he raised up Moses, he raised up Noah to deliver his message. The same thing uh, is happening in these last days. Scriptures say, uh, for I am the Lord, I change not. Verse 11 again, Isaiah 55 and 11, and read, It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So wherever... Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, has written these scriptures and he has put the spirit on his men to break down his word in, 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 in all sincerity and the truth. That is the thing which is going to happen, you know, starting with our apostles and elders, the great millstone, uh, in the men on down. They've been, uh, starting with our apostles and elders, they've been talking about the RFID chip for, uh, for, for decades at time now. Uh, saying that it was the mark of the beast and what you see it coming to pass, you know uh, The scriptures say if they speak not according to this word, there's no light in them You know uh, if, if you know the scriptures also say of how do we know who to follow? Well the thing which that prophet has spoken come not to pass then that is the prophet you know, by Shema Shah have not sent but what you see uh, starting with apostles and elders starting with the apostles and elders great millstone uh, that the, those words are coming to pass. Yahweh by Shema Shah is making good on his word, and we see that America is fastly coming to an end, that America is about to be uh, destroyed. St. Matthew 24 and 38, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Yes, so what? They heard the warning, and they, they heard the warning, and, and, and they didn't take heed, you know? They heard the sound of the trumpet, but they did not take warning. Real quick. Because what? They, there's going to be a punishment for that. This is um, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 1. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it reads, and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, and the Lord is about to bring the sword, he's about to bring the so-called white man, he's also about to bring these different uh, calamities and plagues. You know, you got the black death, uh, you got this uh, new flesh eating disease that is um, taking over the East Coast, you know, in these different um, amusement parks and these different uh, pools, you know. That is the sword. The sword represents death and destruction. And when I bring a sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, and we are the watchmen, if when he seeth the sword cometh upon the land, yeah, we see the sword coming. You know, we, we're warning our people, you know, to, to wake up. You know, we're sounding the alarm, you know, uh, telling our people to wake up that a day of destruction is coming. Uh, we're sounding the alarm. For if, verse 3, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he bloweth the trumpet and warn the people. And we are warning the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake up out of that deep sleep they're in, that America is just this dreamland. And this place, this is not a rest. This place is going to be destroyed. The Lord has a controversy with this land. And he is going to destroy it. And all those that are joined hand in hand with this place, just as in the time of Noah, will be caught up in this destruction. Verse 3 again, 
if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet, which we do, and warn the people, well, once again we do, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Yet, his blood shall be upon his own head. Verse 5, he heard the sound of the trumpet, and the sound of the trumpet is the word of these scriptures. You know, our voice speaking out through the highways and byways and making these videos. This is the warning. This is the trumpet being blown. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. Yeah, you heard the sound of the trumpet and you and you took not warning. Just as in the time of the days of Noah. The majority of their people, they hear us out there in the highways and byways, but they don't do them. They don't, they don't believe, you know, they are destroyed. The scriptures talk about all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness because their lack of belief, they are going to perish and die here in America. At least they wake up, at least they believe, at least the Lord give them that gift of faith. And they wake up in these last days. Verse 5 again, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood should be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. Yeah, but he that taketh warning, you know, he that oh hears what the prophets of the Heavenly Father, Psalm where Apostle said, Oh, is a great millstone, and the men on doubt is out there on the highways and byways speaking. You know, you do the proper things, you seek Yahweh by Shema Shah before all hell breaks so if you fear uh the name of the Lord and have faith. You know, scriptures talk about wisdom and knowledge wisdom and knowledge should be stability thy times. What? Uh, you shall deliver your soul. This is back in St. Matthew 24 and 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah, they knew not until the flood came and took them all the way. Then they wanted to believe. Then they want to um, hear what the prophets got to say. Now, now, now is the time. It's not later, but now. Because there's going to be a time when the Lord is going to take us out of the streets. The Lord is going to take us take us off the highways and byways, and you are uh, and, and you are not going to be able to get this word. Real quick, and I kind of jumped the guns. I was supposed to get this preset beforehand. So I like, yeah. This is Joel 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Yes, yeah, so we are, you know, Zion represents you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the nation of Israel. You know, we are the monument down here on the earth, you know, of the Lord. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Yeah, we are blowing the trumpet. We are sounding the alarm, telling you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake up. Wake up already. Come back to the Lord uh, before he destroys this place. Come uh, come out from among them and be ye separate. Come out from among these heathens and, you know, the the, the, the degenerate of our people and, and separate yourselves from them. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. So when you hear this word, you are supposed to be trembling. You're supposed to be in great fear. Uh, great fear is supposed to come upon you when you hear these words. When the prophets, when they, when the prophets of the Heavenly Father seen the visions that were coming to the place, what? They threw up. They were, um, they got sick. That's how, uh, Ezra said, woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver me in those days? You know, cause he's seen how dreadful it was. But the scriptures talk about, um, how the Lord is going to protect his men, you know, all those that were um that were seeking him in these last days. And it reads, Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Yeah, for the day of the Lord is coming is nigh at hand. The day of the Lord is nigh. The day of the Lord is about to come upon the face of the earth. This is back in St. Matthew chapter twenty four. Verse, that was pretty much it, um, I'm going to jump down to verse, verse uh, 42, 
Watch ye therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Yeah, you got to be watching. The scriptures say um, you got to watch as well as pray. So you got to be watching. You know, you got to be taking warning. Because um, we don't know what day of the Lord is going to come. So what? Now is the time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake up. You know, I'm going to close down that. You know, I could go a little longer, but, you know, the, the point's been made. You know, now is the time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake up. You know, wake out of that deep sleep and seek the Lord, you know. Before all hell breaks loose, before the Lord. Hey, when when, when these race riots uh, start popping off, the Lord is not going to have his men out there on the highways and byways. Uh, um preaching this word, the Lord is not going to have us out there, you know, hey, so it's either now or never to wake up, you know, Lord's willing, I might make a part two, but Lord's willing, brother, brothers, were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shema Shai, where we go any further, we go all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, HaKak, Wadash, double honor, so our apostle, and elders, the great most of the of the truth, according to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings, so for like of the nation of Israel, thanks, and we say, Shalom.